Hey, 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 Nikki Brown here. No matter where you are, what part of the world you're in, I hope that you're having a good day. So today is Tuesday, April 11th. Yes, Tuesday, April 11th. And um, on Sunday... I'm driving a van and I'm coming around a curve and you know sometimes you can't see around what's going on around the curve so there's a car just sitting there had no idea why this car is sitting there so I went around the car when I went around the car then I realized there was someone backing out of a driveway right and this person was driving an SUV or a minivan but I think it was an SUV so I mean, we're maybe 100 feet from the corner. So this person, because I went around him, he sped up to try to cut me off, but he couldn't. So we all made a right, and then he sped up again to get in front of me, probably another 50 feet from the corner. And I'm thinking to myself, why would you risk your life? Because someone mistakenly got in front of you. It was it was honestly like, I don't know why you're sitting here. But some people have such issues with being first or somebody cutting them off. Not even, I didn't even cut him off. All I did is go around. And there was nothing wrong with me going around if I don't know why you're sitting there waiting. I couldn't see around the curve, right? But you got so angry. And really, you're only hurting yourself. So this road rage festered inside of this person to the point where this person was willing to risk his life to speed up, not knowing if another car was coming because it's, it's a very narrow street. Didn't know if a car was going to come around a corner or anything because we were only... 50 to 100 feet from both corners that we, we, we turned on. You're willing to risk your life. And why? Like, sometimes I often wonder what is going on in this person's mind, right? That you would risk your life. Like, that was very foolish to speed up and cut off a van. Cars are very powerful machines. So a van is an even more powerful and heavy machine. I don't know if he was going to the store, someone's house. I think most of the stores were closed on Sunday. But this person was willing to risk his life. Because I went around him. And in his mind... This made logical sense. But in reality, that does not make logical sense at all. And it is very unfortunate that people allow themselves to get that angry. Again, I'm not even sure what the thought process was. If someone gets in front of you, so what? Why does that bother you so much? What is going on inside of you? Did something happen when you were in elementary school where somebody got in front of line before you and the teacher didn't do anything to help? Or did you was there something going on with your siblings where you felt like your parents put your siblings before you? Because there has to be something deeper going on with inside this person that again will make you risk your life to cut someone off who is driving a heavy piece of machinery. And the only person that you're hurting is yourself. It doesn't hurt the person that you're cutting off unless they have anger issues as well. And then it becomes a competition where y'all trying to speed up and cut each other off. And again, risk both your lives for something that is very petty and insignificant. And so I challenge you, if you have some unhealed places inside of you, work on healing yourself. 
because that's very dangerous. I used to have road rage. I did. Um, not sure if I had it that well, maybe I did. I did used to have road rage. Um, I, I, I think I have cut people off um, because I felt like they cut me off. I think I do remember that. It's been a long time. Um, you know, a lot of people change and grow and realize that some of the things that they've done in the past are foolish. Um, I don't hold on to things because I'm not going to beat myself up about it. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that I've done something similar. Maybe not to such a degree right because you have to use good judgment again we were probably 50 to 100 feet from the corner so that wasn't smart at all i have done some things that weren't smart behind the wheel i am going to admit that right but um that just was crazy and again even if i did some of those things in the past Things have changed for me now, right? So I see the error or the flaw in that mindset and that way of thinking. Because again, that could have been fatal because there was another car in front of us. What if that car that was in front of us has stopped short? So now you're sandwiched in the middle. That could have really been something bad and again what if another car sped around the corner it just wasn't smart and so even if we did things that did not serve a good purpose in our lives in the past again when you know better you do better and it's okay to change change is inevitable just like death right we know that things change all the time, even if we don't want them to. And sometimes those changes, although they may not seem like uh, a good thing at the time, sometimes they end up being the best thing for us on the other side of it. So I really just wanted to quickly discuss that um, because it really didn't make sense to me. And again, I feel sorry for that guy that you will allow yourself to get that angry and again cutting trying to cut me off because I just slowed down and let him go ahead and be foolish because I'm not going to be foolish with you so did you think that it was going to make me mad that's unfortunate that you think your foolishness is going to upset someone else because again it's not like I cut him off intentionally I did not know you're on the side of the road. He wasn't even like, you know, in the lane. He was like off to the side. I don't know if he was on his cell phone, sending a text, waiting for someone to come out of the house. I don't know. You're just sitting there. So I went around because I can't see why you're sitting there or I don't know why you're sitting there. Completely innocent. Nothing wrong with what I did right but this angered this man so much <laughs> that he was willing to risk his life to speed up and go around me and so again if you're that angry please he'll you know what you can do whatever you want to do if you choose to stay angry that's fine because some people do choose to stay angry but if you want to do things different, please seek some type of help, whether it be counseling, a life coach, you know, heal those unhealed places. Because usually anger comes from something in your past and it has nothing to do with the person that you're projecting that anger onto. And it's very unfortunate that you know, he got so angry that he felt the need to do that because it doesn't make logical sense. And again, it's unfortunate. Anyway, as always, I love y'all. And I hope that this message um, is informative.
because I'm always trying to help. Um, whether I'm cooking something or sharing some knowledge, I'm just doing my best to do my part and help those who can appreciate what I am offering at this time. If you would like to talk about it, I would be more than happy to discuss it with you. You can just comment in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Love y'all. Later.